What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages? Black Mercury here, bringing you a 2019 corset fat pack. Oh, I'm so pumped! Like I told you guys last time, when I tried to pre-order a box, I came one day late, and they're like, "STFU, we like you, but we can't do it." And then they're like, "Eh." And so I bought this fat pack. Uh, I went into the store, that same store, and bought the fat pack. Uh, and I was kind of disappointed because after I left. I realized that there was a actual box. Yeah, but that is not important. I have a fat pack, and that's all that important. And I got cool deck protectors, Pokemon. Isn't that awesome? Okay, that's not the point, though. I just thought I could share that, because it's awesome. Now, the question is, can I open this fat pack? This stupid freaking plastic. This is the worst. This is legitimately the worst ever. Let's see. Oh, got it. Ugh, I've been two fat, fat packs so far, so I'm getting better, I guess. He's got to put your nails under there. So, 2013 core set. And this is good. Player's Guide gives you all the cards in there. Like that. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, it's awesome. We're going to open the, this. Get our 2013, excuse me, 2013 lands. Um, a Lillian box on 2013 corset, like crappy box. And um, let's open these first packs. You get the uh, Planeswalker dice. And um, so, yeah, 2013 corset. So. Let's hope for. I don't even know what I want. I, I looked at the spoilers, but I really don't know what I want. I'm making, like I said in my last video, where I showed you some 2013 cards before they were actually released. And I talked about the pre release tournament I went to. I showed you that green show and that stuff like that. And so, uh, ooh, haven't seen this card yet. Goblin, that's good. So let's focus in or attempt to focus in. Mog Flunkies. I'm going to mispronounce his name so hard. Harbor Serpent, Glorious Charge, Ward Clamp Mastiff, Grinko's Command, Tricks of the Trade, which is actually pretty cool, uh, Spikes Bowoth, Bowoth, Goblin Battle Jester, as you've already seen guys, there's a lot of, a lot of goblins, like I told you guys before, uh, Ajanji's, whatever, Torch Fiend, uh, he's the Uncommon Veaborn Ghoul, Volcanic Geyser, and the rare Elvish Ac Ac Arc Druid. All their elves you control get plus one, plus one. Tap, add a uh, force mana to each uh, mana. <laughs> add, tap it, add a force mana for each elf. And a hollow in the back. Avon Squire, which I actually use for my deck, my exalted deck that I use with my goblin. So that's actually pretty cool that I got that. So, a foil in the rare in a first pack, and a good foil for me, even though it's a common. I still like that foil. And uh, I've been getting some good cards with uh, this. You know, I got Grinko, I got that Mythic Rare foil in the pre-release, and we're starting off with a William Shade for this one. William Shade, Harbor Serpent again, Kindled Fury. A race, attended night, wall of fire, blood throne vampire, scroll thief, griffin protector, switcheroo. I like that artwork, it's really kind of funny. Uh, Torch fiend, arms dealer, yes, even though it's uncommon, it's great for my goblin deck. And Nefarix, overlord of Greekus. This is actually a really, really, really good card uh, for black. Uh, this is actually the promo, that the pro well, I guess you can call it the promo card, that you get when you get the black, white, exalted deck, which I got, like I told you guys. And so now I have two of them. And is there a foil in the back? Yes, there is. Furnace Whelp. Uh, so, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Flying, and you tap, you get it, even though it has a uh, pretty good foil. So let's put all the foils in the rare, excuse me, over here. Let's put Arms Dealer over there, it's because I like Arms Dealer. It's pretty good for my my deck, because Arms Dealer is amazing. Like I told you guys in my last video, 
with the goblins and all of that. So let's open the third pack out of nine. So the first one I see is Farseek, which is actually a really good card. Servant of Nefarix, Guardian, Lion, War Clamp, Mastiff, Deadly Recluse, Sign and Blood, Erase, Serpent's Gift, uh, Duty Bound Dead, Smelt, Harbor Bandit, this starts the Uncommons. It's actually pretty good. That's actually good for my black white, uh, my whatever, my blue black deck. Uh, Chronomation, Clock of Omen, and the rare Captain of the Watch, which is actually like an $8 card. It's going to be surprising enough. Uh, Vigilance, other soldier creatures you control get plus one and plus one to have Vigilance. And uh, when Captain of the Watch enters the battlefield, put three 1-1 one, one white soldier tokens on the battlefield. So yeah, the mana cost is definitely worth it, and I don't get a foil. So that's my first pack, the non-foil. Depressing, yet expected. I mean, you can't expect to get a foil. The foils are actually kind of uncommon, unlike in uh, other some other TCGs. And when, fo when foils happen, people freak out. Like I did when I got the Mythic Rare for them. Okay, Wild Guess. Dark Favor. Let me put these cards a little farther down. Captain's Call. Naturalize. Centennial Spider. Hydra Surge. That's actually pretty cool. I'm going to put this over here. That's awesome. Uh, Dragon Hatching, which I just pulled a foil of in my first pack. Or second pack. Duty Bound Dead. Encrust. Um, Bond Beetle. Another Furnace Whelp. Uh, it starts the uh, Uncommon's War Priest. Clock of Omen again, and Predator's Rampage, uh, which is actually a pretty good green card. Uh, creatures you control get plus three, plus three until end of turn. And each, oh, it's a soldier token. Each creature your opponent blocks if able. And then, no, I got a soldier card though, but uh, that was a pretty good rare, I guess. I don't know. Um, can't really say because I don't know what exactly I want from all of this stuff, but it's still a fat pack, and it's still 2013, it's still awesome. So, Servant of Nephrax, Guardian Lion, Volcanic Strength, Downpour, which is actually pretty cool, Essence Strain, War Clamp Mastiff, Encrust, Pacifism, which is one of the biggest douche white cards, uh, Bountiful Harvest, uh, Remnus Rats, it starts the Uncommons, Mine Claw Shaman, Healer of the Pride, uh, Torment's Crypt, which is actually pretty cool, and the rare Gilded Lotus, uh, which I actually traded for, uh, which now <laughs> I kind of regret trading for because I got one, but uh, this is actually really good, uh, it costs 5 colors mana, and you tabbed at three color of any if you want, so it gets really good. And no, uh, no foil or secondary rare in the back. So I think that I think that ends the first little bitch bit. Excuse me, I don't know why. I said that explanatory word. And so, yep, here is the all the lands and. The other four packs. So let's hope for something really good, like a mythic rare, a planeswalker, something good. Because the odds of our, I get one mythic rare in this. Um, so, show of valor, bloodhunt bat, titanic growth, which is actually a really good green card, essence drain, another erase. Fairy Invader, Crater Eyes, Revenous Rats, Essence Scatter, uh, Roaring Primadox, Flames of Firebrand, 
Ruler Tower is actually pretty cool. You have no maximum hand size, which uh, actually help. And Masters of Pearl Trident. So other Merfolk creatures you control get plus one, plus one, have Island Walk. Yeah, not bad. And a, f <gasps> a Foil Vampire Nighthawk. Oh my god. That... That almost makes his fat pack worth it. Getting a foil vampire nighthawk. Um, this is actually one of the most sought after black cards. If you guys have ever played Magic before, because it's so good, people were heavily trading for it at the pre-release party. Flying, Death Touch, and Life Link. Oh my gosh, that's an amazing card. I'm so glad I pulled that because that actually was needed. Vampire nighthawks and the foil just makes it that much better like really that much better I'm pretty sure that comes like a ten dollar uncommon card maybe not that much but still it's like a three dollar uncommon card which you don't see very often uh... Mugs Flunkies, Harbor Serpent Dark Favor, War Clamp Mastiff, Index, Searing Spear, Evolving Wilds, Encrust, Hunter Revenant's Rats, Smelt, Uncommons, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, Beast Tracker, Creatures of Control Gain, Double Strike, Another Turn, Clever Riot, Kite Sail, and the Rare Clone, which is actually a pretty cool green card, or not green card, Blue card, excuse me. You may have clone enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, which is pretty cool. And then there's a goat token. Oh, okay. Um, whatever. Um, never seen goats before, but hey, first time for everything, I guess. If they can say, hey, we can have goblins and we can have goats. Oh, that vampire night hawk is so amazing. I'm loving that foil. And clone is actually a pretty legit card too. Um Boolean Shade, Harbor Serpent, Kindle Fury, Water Coerce, Kraken Hatchling, Giant Scorpion, Windrake, John G's Sunstriker, Primal Hunter Beast, Welcome Term. Uncommon Crusader of Audric. Forget Audric that. Oh, Jace's Phantom, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's a 1 1. It's fine. And Jace. Um, Fanaticism gets plus 4, plus 4 as long as any opponent has 10 or more cards in his or her graveyard. So I'm surprised that's only an uncommon, but I think it would be a really sought after card. Uh, Oblivion Ring. Ooh, two great uncommons in a row. Uh, when Oblivion Ring enters the battlefield, exile another target non permanent land. When it leaves, it comes back. And the rare captain, another captain of the watch. So, yeah, these are actually pretty good pulls. And no foil back. But Oblivion Ring, Jace, Fantasism, and another captain of the watch, I cannot complain with that. Um, those are actually some pretty good pulls. And uh, captain of the watch, I think, will be uh, pretty good. Uh, so, I just passed the odds for a mythic rare card. And so, hopefully I can pull a mythic rare in this pack. I'm kind of tempted just to go to the very back. But I know you guys maybe want to see some uncommons and commons. I don't know. I don't know what you guys like. Maybe you guys like seeing those uncommons. Volcanic Strength. Downpour. Murder. Krinko's Command. Blood Throne Vampire. Evolving Wilds. Arbor Elf. Griffin Protector. Divination. Rise from the Grave. Oh, that was an uncommon, by the way. Fog Bank. Prized elephant and the rare, uh, not a mythic, but I could get a mythic. Whoa, what? As this enters the battlefield, put a counter, put a legendary counter on an artifact you control. This is indestructible. When you control no permanents with a counter on it, then set. And a hollow island. So I have to look at this card. I don't know what that's all about. So depressing, there's no mythic in it. I was kind of hoping for at least one mythic. But uh, I did get some good cards, and I'll go through them once again. Um, in no particular order. 
So, um, Nephrox Overlord of Grickus, which, uh, like I said, is uh, pretty good, and you get it in the Exalted deck. Uh, Philanthropist Lich, Lich, which is a uh, pretty good card. My first Captain of the Watch, the Oblivion Ring, which I just put there. Jay's Fantasism, which I put there again. Uh, Clone, the one of the best cards in this, which was the Foil Vampire Nighthawk. Master of Pearl Triant. I don't know why I did that. Passivism, like I said, good card. Downpour, like I said, another good card. Gilded Lotus. Predator's Rampage. Zero Surge. Uh, the second Captain of the Watch. Arm Steel, like I said, was a great card. Alice Archdruid. Hollow Island. Hollow, uh, foil Island. Foil Furnace Whelp. And Foil Avon Squire. So I got a lot of foils, which I was actually surprised about. But no Mythic Rare, which I would rather trade a lot of these foils for a Mythic Rare. That's just me. So, guys, uh, until the next uh, video, have a, uh, please leave a comment if you like this video because I like doing these pa uh, fat pack openings and stuff like that. Um, so, tell me what you guys think. Tell me um, if you guys like the 2013 set, what you guys seen, if you guys play Magic. And, um, you know, any, any help with this video, like a like or a comment or a favorite would really help. Uh, show me you guys you care, and until the next video, guys, have a great day, great night, wherever you are, and as always, peace.